happy Friday, Facebook. How's everyone doing? I'm going to wait a few minutes for everyone to jump on so that we can do this together. I'm having wine, lots of wine. I'm actually just going to try to fix the lighting. Why is it that Facebook's lighting is never the same as in the preview? Anyone else have that problem? Is it just me? Hold on, let's try this. Is this better? It's a little bit better, right? You guys can see me better. Okay, so if you're on, say hi. I'm going to do a very quick intro of what to expect. First of all, I have Zippo makeup on my face, so that is why I need all this wine. No, I'm just kidding. I've had a really, really long week. A lot of my friends out there have had long weeks. I've been seeing the posts all week of like, I need some more wine. I need some more wine. Is it Friday yet? So cheers, ladies. It's finally Friday. Congratulations. You made it through the week. And tonight I'm going to do for you my mommy survival makeup look. This is what I would have done in the morning. Hi, Laurel. This is what I would have done in the morning. This is what I actually did this morning, but let's be real. I didn't have time to actually go live and video it. And I know that you guys probably didn't have time to watch it anyway. So I said, I'm going to wash it all off tonight and I'm going to redo it for the ladies because this is probably one of the most frequently asked questions that I get. And it's how long does it take you to do your makeup in every morning? And do you actually do all that makeup every morning? So to answer the question, it usually takes me between 10 and 15 minutes to really like do the eyeshadow if I'm doing my splash, you know, think about what colors, hey MC. Um, so, but sometimes we don't have 10 to 15 minutes, right? Like most times, most mornings, I don't have 10 to 15 minutes. Realistically, I have about five and even that five minutes is broken, right? So like I'll do foundation, I'll do my skincare and then I'll run down and check if the baby's okay and then I'll go back and sometimes I'm doing mascara in the car, you know, whatever. So it's five minutes, but even then it's hard. It's hard to get that time, right? Um, so I'm going to show you guys probably like a three minute routine. Someone's going to time me. This is called my survival, like my absolute basic. I need to run out the door, but I want to feel pretty still. I still want to feel good. Not that I don't look good or I don't feel pretty without anything. It's just that extra little confidence boost. So do I believe you need makeup to be beautiful? Absolutely not. But do I think that it will definitely give you that little bit of confidence boost and you deserve to take that two, three, five minutes? Totally, I do. Laurel saying cheers. She's finished doing all the flowers. I saw that. Congratulations, Laurel. That's so exciting. I want to see a bunch of pictures out there tomorrow, okay? I love it. Okay, guys, so let's get going. My first and absolute go to, and it's super fast BB cream. BB cream is my first love with Unique, even before I ever tried the pressed powder, before we had liquid foundation. BB cream and it's my go-to especially with winter coming up so um, I love this because it's that extra hydration it's like tinted moisturizer basically you feel like you're getting that little bit of coverage and you'll be able to see it because I do have some blemishes um, my skin is not cooperating today um, but that's fine because you do get that little bit of extra coverage so that's about how much I would use um, for my entire face so really just dab you don't even need a brush okay and just dab and rub in and I wish I said this to myself this morning too I didn't take a picture before to do one of those lovely side by sides for you guys but it's okay you'll see it live and you'll get the idea it is the fastest thing on the face of the earth and you're getting a bit of shine it's just because of my lighting it's not actual shine on my forehead is super super absorbent really fast so that's another thing I love about this BB cream so that's it BB cream goes everywhere obviously you need to have the right color and that's it BB cream is on the next thing I absolutely love and I rush to get is my lip balm bombs so these are like little mini lip treatments tinted lip treatments my favorite is red velvet because you actually get you know a good pop of color okay so it's like a raspberry color and that is it so you can't make mistakes you don't need a liner nothing you just get that little bit of color and I actually use this as blush as well so if I'm in the car and I get like bonbons on and then I'm just doing like that and it's you know moisture into moisture on the BB cream and it's awesome so so far BB cream bonbon is someone timing me I hate that Facebook live doesn't give me a timer a counter going so I don't know how long I've been on or how long I've been doing this but it's pretty fast and mascara of course you have to have mascara I opened a brand new mascara this morning ladies and I have to tell you I'm in love all over again. Like every time I open a brand new one, I forget how amazing it is. So I'm going to show you guys one coat of fast mascara and so you can see the difference. So these are my lashes. I often get told, oh, but you have good lashes. I have 
nothing lashes almost okay with no mascara so here we go I'm gonna do it see if I can do this in the phone for you guys and that's gonna be pretty much it that's my go-to I'm surviving the day look but at least I feel a little bit more alive and awake and it's totally worth it so if you again if you guys are just joining um, please say hi it makes me feel like I'm not talking to myself I love hanging out with you guys on Friday nights thank you for the love um, so two tubes always have them both open so that you're ready to go I kind of roll the fibers on the back of my hand especially when it's new because you don't want it to be um, kind of bursting out there on your lashes hey Kirsten how's it going mama and I do mid lash to tip so oh my gosh look at that already you guys like I barely touch it you're pretty much just like tapping like really really light taps when they say falsies in a bottle you guys they are serious if you're due for a mascara a refill if your mascara's not doing this anymore you're due for a refill hi Tracy um, Tracy is our newest team member Tracy's doing amazing hey Lucia thank you love so as you guys can see I did gel fiber and then I'm going to the other eye why so if you are 3d lash lovers you know the rule is gel fiber gel and I will go back and do the, the gel the sealant coat but if you do gel fiber and then you leave it for a minute while you do your other eye you're actually giving a chance for the fibers to settle in a little bit before you go back with the gel so that you're not pulling the fibers off and you're not getting fibers onto the gel wand. Does that make sense? You don't want the fibers to go back into your gel wand and then get back into your gel and clump up your gel. So that's my newest little trick. And I forgot to roll. See, I'm talking and I forgot to roll, but that's okay. So tap, tap, tap. And that is it, you guys. Can you see how one coat... Okay, I'm just going to do the gel on top again. And then you guys are going to see the amazing length. I actually loved my eyes today even more. I didn't have liner and I didn't have eyeshadow on and I was like staring at my own lashes all day every time I passed a mirror. I loved it. So that is it. Gel fiber gel. Hey Stella. Hi Victoria. Oh my gosh I miss you guys so much. I used to get to see cute pictures of Victoria every morning. Stella and I work together. How's everybody doing at your house Stella? Is everybody over the cold? I think Matthew's finally done. I can't, I can't even more. Like nobody better get sick this weekend. I need one weekend of no sickness. So that's it, gel, fiber gel. I've got BB cream on and a bonbon and I used BB, I used the bonbon to do a little bit of blush. That's it. So someone tell me how long that was. This is my mommy survival face and tomorrow morning when I'm surviving again, I'm gonna do before and after just so that you guys can see. Now, if you happen to be like really wild and you had an extra 30 seconds. Hi, Pina, how's it going? Sorry, my phone is tilting. I'm gonna take a picture of the setup, you guys, after I've literally like three white boxes, <laughs> like a little toy. Oh no, it's skipping MC. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what it, what is it with my Wi-Fi connection in this house? Like now I'm in the living room and it's still kind of messy. Anyways, so hopefully on the replay it'll be better. If you hadn't, you wanted to go wild and you have an extra 30 seconds, bronzer. Beachfront bronzer is like my ultimate, like super fast result. Okay, so tap in your puff brush and you're doing like that and number three backwards three okay so bronzer if you really want to go wild okay eyebrows people think eyebrows take the longest and they really really don't okay it's good MC thank you um, our eyebrow pencil with the spoolie at one end and the pencil at the other is amazing so you know my eyebrows are okay um, I probably got them threaded about a week ago so they're not too bad and the shape um, the thickness of them is pretty good but watch the difference and watch how fast okay this is just a little bonus I love this eyebrow pencil so you just want to fill in and kind of you know you're going by that rule of to your tear drum to your tear duct um, make a line and then from the the, um, the middle of your eye I'm sorry I can't think I've had too much wine already to the arch and then to the edge so you see just a little bit I need filling but you'll see what a difference it makes and then just follow along your brow line depends how much filling in you need right but I love this pencil because it's just so it just fits right in it makes it look like real little hairs it's super subtle but you'll see a difference okay so just little dashes and then you go back with your spoolie and kind of just fix and can you see the difference 
I can see it from one eyebrow to the other and then so same thing on the other side it's so hard to do this on the phone you guys but you get the idea right it's just it's those little spots that you know make you feel a little more polished a little more put together um, for the day and that's all we need sometimes right just that extra little two minutes that we take for ourselves so definitely lashes BB cream a bonbon because you're getting that hydration and while we are talking about our lips you guys the exfoliator in this month's kudos is everything so I'm gonna tell you just quickly a little bit about this and why I love it so much and why you must get this in your life like I'm not a big exfoliator fan I didn't think it was really necessary but if you've been watching my splash series that I'm doing with Mandy um, my beautiful wife sister we're doing we're going through all the splash colors and so we've been trying different ones every day except for today because today was a I survived the day and I'm not putting on any splash colors but you need like it totally if your lips are not like on point and super smooth and soft totally totally shows the difference so this lip exfoliator comes free in this month's kudos and it is like everything so that's what it looks like okay it just looks like a big jumbo pencil but it's made of real sugar and shea butter and vitamin a and e and it just like you just kind of scrubby here i'll show you guys scrubby on your lips like that and a taste of sugar you don't have to you know wipe it anything hi Lorena um, but you can you can use uh, a shine cloth you can use just a damp um, cloth you know whatever and just wipe it a little bit don't scrub too much because you want to leave a little bit of it on it gives you that shine and that moisture it's amazing feels amazing tastes amazing it's got no oil no parabens no no fragrance, no alcohol, so it's not stripping your lips. It is, I swear to you, the bomb. I saw such a difference just from one day to the next of using the exfoliator and then applying the splash. Same thing for lip stains. Whatever lipstick product you're using on your lips after, it's just, it's like the most amazing thing. Like uh, my top five unique things ever. I really, really love this exfoliator. So if you could get it for free this month, if you were going to buy some splash anyways, if you have some gifts, stocking stuffers, this month's kudos, you're getting this for free and it's a $25 value. So this would be one of my must, must haves. Um, I hope my little survival beauty look helped you guys. I often get told, oh my gosh, you always look so put together. You always look like you have tons of makeup on. How do you have the time? How do you have the time? Sometimes I don't, you guys. I really don't. And that's really, you know, that's just real life and it's okay. The amazing thing is that you can still take two minutes and just you know do your lashes put on some bb cream right out the door put some bronzer concealer whatever it is and just just feel a little bit more put together a little bit less frazzled than the usual um if you are interested in those products the, the three that i just showed you there is a collection it's called the survival stash funny enough and it comes with rose water as well and our shine cloths if you haven't seen me talk about these shine cloths or you haven't seen it floating around YouTube, these shine cloths are incredible. They're like a little facial in a cloth. They're not your regular pharmacy brand, you know, makeup remover wipes. There's no alcohol in them. Your face doesn't feel strips. It's all um, natural oils, essential oils and nourishment for your skin. And it's amazing because it takes off like Sharpie marker from your kids. So tomorrow or this weekend at some point, because it's going to be raining and the kids are going to be bored out of their mind. I might let one of my kids use Sharpie marker and do little designs on my face. And I will come back and do a little video of the shine cloth just so you could see. And all those things are in the survival stash. So again, I hope this helped. Hi, Anya. I hope this helped. And I hope you guys got to see a little bit of a glimpse of real life, a real survival mummy look, and that it's totally okay to not be like super glammed up every day so i hope you guys have an awesome friday cheers to everybody the start of a wonderful weekend and a wonderful fall and i'd love to hear your ideas for more fast fix fridays things that you want to see products that you want to see how to use them or different looks i'm super open to any suggestions so cheers you guys have a wonderful friday